We know that so far this term, we have learnt, or this year rather, last term, we have learnt D and A. So we've learnt where D and A sit on the stave. We know that if I'm playing violin, D sits here in a space underneath the stave. And I know that my clef is called a treble clef. I know that if I'm playing A as a violin player, I know that to read A, it's in the second space. Remember, we count from the bottom up. So this is the first pace space and this is the second space. I know that if I'm playing viola and my clef is an alto clef, I know that a D sits in the third space. One, two, three. It's, it's in the third space. And I know that if I'm playing A, to read A, I need to read it, and it sits in the space above the staff. I know that if I'm playing the cello, my clef is called a bass clef. And I know that it, to play a D, to read a D, it sits on the middle line or the third line, the first, the second, the third line. I know that if I'm to play an A, it sits not on the first, but it actually sits on the top line or the fifth line because we count from the bottom. I know that if I'm playing a double bass, I have the same clef as the cello. I have the bass clef. I know that my D sits in the same spot, so it sits on the middle line there. But I know that my A is actually a lower pitch, so it's the octave down, and it sits in the bottom space, so it sits in the first space. Today we're going to learn G. So if I'm playing the violin, I know that a G, to read the G, it sits on the second line. I know that my G string is this one here. I know that if I'm playing the viola reading the alto clef, the G sits on the top line or the fifth line. And I know that my G string here is this one here, so the second one from the left. I know that if I'm playing the cello, my G sits here on the bottom line, and my G string is this second one from the left, just like the viola. I think it was the viola, yeah, just like the viola. And the double bass, I know that if I'm reading a G, it is sitting in the top space or the fourth space, and my G string is on the far right. Now, I want you to actually go back and have a little look at these slides when you're done. So have a look at which slide is yours. If you're playing violin or viola, your slide is on slide 15 to find out which note, where the note sits and where the string is. And then if you are playing cello or double bass, you need to go to slide 16 and have a look at where your G string is on your instrument and where the G sits on the, on the star. So then you need to actually go and fill this in. Where does the G live on the stave for you and your instrument? So remember, stave and staff mean the same thing, but you can choose which one you'd like to say. So in the box below, I want you to write down which string G is for you, and I want you to write where it sits on the stave for your clef. So does it sit on the first line? Does it sit on the middle line? Does it sit in the, in the top space? Where does it sit for you, and which string is it?